Hello all my chickadees! Welcome back to Nightshade, You're the Drug. This is part 10. Wow! We've been doing this for a while now. Okay, if you haven't seen parts 1 through 9, uh, you should hop on over to my channel and check them out. They have their own playlist, so it'll be easier to find. Uh, okay, what did we do last time? Um, we went to investigate. We tried to get this person to help us, and she wasn't sure about it. Because we need help getting, uh, Mishka back. And, uh, she was like, I don't know, maybe. So, um, kind of a dead end at the moment, but maybe she'll help. And then our boss came, in, well, not our boss, Mishka's boss, I think, came and picked us up. And, uh, now we're in a street fair? I guess? Okay, I'm confused. <laughs> I forgot what we were doing. But, let's jump on in and see what happens. Okay, Sunshine Mishka. Yeah, that's definitely some food over there. Look at that. Ooh, octopus. Oh! Is it gonna be like, uh, the little octopus balls that take to Takayaki or whatever? Those are really good, by the way. I want some. Okay. It wasn't long before the driver pulled the car over to the side of the road. Dima! Dima! That's his name. That's his name. Thank you, Colbert. We shouldn't be too long. Sasha opened his door and climbed out of the car. He took a few steps towards the hanging lanterns and bright neon signs, feeling a sense of familiarity sinking in. He closed his eyes and took a bre deep breath. Spinning on his heels, he spread his arms wide and grinned as Dima stepped out of the car. It's great, right? Look at all this food! The smell of fried street food really did put Sasha at ease. The nagging anxiety in the back of his mind was always present, but it was much quieter tonight. <laughs> oh, I like your sweater, Dima! <laughs> you are totally blending it, blending in. Dima stepped out of the vehicle, his hands clasped behind him. His gaze swept over the overhead lights, the crowd of people flushed together and weaving into the market, and the sheer look of contentment on Sasha's face. He couldn't help but smile. <laughs> all right, all right, where is this Perovsky shop? My favorite burger joint is around here. Sasha. Sasha. <laughs> it's like, focus. <laughs> It's right next door. Relax. <laughs> Sasha waved his hand dismissively before heading into the crowd. As exciting as it was to be back in the city, he still made sure to stay close to Dima. Is it always this crowded? Dima squeezed between the throngs of people they passed, making sure Sasha was in sight. It's a market. It's always packed. Have you never shopped in a street market before? Actually, you don't have to answer that. As they walked, he glanced over the stalls to see if anything caught his eye. It smells... interesting. It smells great, you mean? Then Sasha spotted it. He slapped Dima's arm with the back of his hand and pointed at the shabby restaurant nestled between two other food vendors. The door had a metal folding gate pushed to the, si to the side. Dima brushed his arm where Sasha had squatted, swatted him and glanced towards the hole in the wall. It's a bit small, isn't it? Would he even be able to get through the door? <laughs> is it really that tiny? <laughs> All the best food is made in small places. Everyone knows that. Sasha, I'm not... Come on! Before Dima could protest any father, Sasha took his sweater sleeve and tugged him along. Dima glanced down at his sleeve, barely suppressing a smile. Okay, okay. Hey! It's where we were! Uh, at the very beginning of the game! Oh! Nice! Hamburg. <laughs> An olive in involuntary smile spread on Sasha's face when the two walked in. A worker rounded the corner from the back room and approached the cash register. Sasha, is that you? I almost forgot your face. Come on, it hasn't been that long. 
time is relative and all that. What can I get you and your friend? The cashier raised an inquisitive brow as they looked over at Dima, then back to Sasha. A sly grin spread across their face. Leaning closer to Sasha, the cashier whispered, Who's your friend? He's hot. <laughs> Look at Sasha. He's like, uh. Sasha scoffed, though his face felt warm. Oh my god. Go get me a burger. <laughs> Capitalism wins again. With a shrug, the cashier plugged in Sasha's regular order and glanced up towards Dima. What can I get for you, big guy? No. No. That won't be necessary. Just give him the same thing. Dima turned towards Sasha, his brows furrowed in with confusion. Sasha. Sasha, that's not... Alright, coming up. Scan your payment whenever and grab your fountain drink from over there. You know how it goes. With that, the cashier walked around towards the back towards the fire flyers. They swiftly set to work on the two meals. Sasha took the cups after paying for the burgers and responded under his breath, passing the cup to Dima. One of us knows how it goes, anyway. Dima glanced at the cup, now in hand and sighed. Alright, show me how this works. You're like an alien from another planet, here. Sasha pushed his cup into the machine's tab. Of course, this was one of the few restaurants left that hadn't upgraded to a touch screen. If you push it too long, you'll spill over the top. I think you can manage that, right? Alright, I get it. I don't have much experience with these things. Dima nudged Sasha out of the way and thrust a cu cup under the nozzle. When the drink splurted into it, he nodded. See there? Whoa, whoa, now? That filled more quickly than Dima expected. I can't believe he's never used a drink machine before. It's kind of cute, though. Slowly pulling his cup from the machine, he was careful not to let any spill over the edge when he re reached for a lid. Sasha just snickered at it as he popped a lid on his own. Two onion deaths, no lettuce with medium fries. Come and get it. I forgot we got onion death. Oh no. I didn't know it was going to pop up like that in the game. <laughs> okay, I am so sorry, Dima. I am so sorry. To what? Thank you. Sasha grabbed a large to-go bag containing their order and started for the door. Dima, who was still attempting to put the lid on his cup, called out to Sasha as he headed out the door. Sasha. Hold on. Securing the cup, Dima grabbed a straw and followed. The cashier waved goodbye as the door ch chimed behind the pair. When he caught up to Sasha, he pulled the paper off his straw and struck it through the drink. Sasha already had his hand deep in the bag and was shoveling handfuls of greasy fries into his mouth. Yeah, Sasha knows how this goes. <laughs> oh, but you gotta admit, those fries have to be good. They have to be freaking good. What? They're so good! Dima smiled and turned his head, glancing down the market at the ever-expansive rows of vendors. You said the other shop is near here, right? Yeah, it's right over there. Sasha crumpled the top of the food bag closed. He took a long, exaggerated slurp through his straw and popped it, his lips with a loud smack. Guess I was hungry. That place has the best fries. Dima took a tiny sip of the drink in hand and followed after Sasha, who led them through the door not two stores away from the burger joint. Sasha pulled the entry open with a soft jingle. Oh, that's right! We're pick we're picking up uh the Perovskis for somebody to take it to somebody. Oh my gosh, I can't remember anymore. Oh, wasn't somebody sick and they're supposed to take the Perosis over to their house or something? I think. Oh, I already forgot. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sasha pulled the entry open with a soft jingle. The shop was c compact, quaint, and smelled of bread and sweeps. An older woman with pink nails looked up from her magazine. Hey, here to pick up. 
Oh, Sasha! It's over there on the table, dear. The woman took an extra long look at Dima, her eyebrows lifting before she turned back to her magazine. Sasha wiped his mouth as he walked over to the neatly wrapped cardboard box on the table nearby. He looked down at the ribbon holding it together. A small note was written on top. Happy Anniversary, Mom. From Sasha and Miska. Oh. Oh, is that right? That they did it? Oh, yeah. Sasha would get one for his mom. Every year. That's right. Oh, but it says Mishka on it. Oh, no. Sasha was having an okay time, and now he's got slapped in the face with the reality that Mishka's gone. He's not dead, that we know of. He's just not here. Is there a problem, dear? No. It's perfect. Thanks again. Sasha shook his head, offering her a weak smile. Dima gazed down at the box on top of the table, eyeing the note. He watched Sasha's expression, a uh, concern on his face. Mishka. Do you want me to carry it? Your hands are a bit full. Sasha looked up at Dima, then down at the drink and greasy bag he was holding. Oh, yeah. I don't want to drop them. Dima nodded and scooped the box up under his arm, being careful not to jostle it too much. He made sure to secure it in his grip. Well, all right then. You have a good night, Sasha. Tell your mom I said hi. I will. Have a good night. Ma'am. Ho oh, ho. The shopkeeper fanned herself with a magazine while the two made for the exit. Oh, you find Dima hot too, don't you? <laughs> Sasha leaned his back to the front door and pushed it open, holding it wide enough for Dima. The, bed, the bell overhead jingled once more. Sasha was quiet as the two stepped out into the night market. Are you alright? Me? Yeah, I'm just peachy. I have this. Sasha dug his burger out of the paper bag, skillfully unwrapping it with one hand. He wasted no time taking a bite. How did you? <laughs> Dima chuckled, glancing down at the box under his arm. A subtle pain of guilt pulled at his heartstrings. Maybe he doesn't want to talk about it then. All right. Anyway, we should get this to your mother, then head back to Strexa. I've been away a little longer than comfortable. Do you ever do anything but work? Yes, I come out to night markets to order burgers and pick up desert dessert orders. <laughs> Order the best burgers. Here, try. Before he finished speaking, Sasha had already lifted his burger to Dima's face. Dima reeled back a little, wrinkling his nose. I am not going to eat your burger. Plus, my hands are full. Come on, the car is this way. That's why I'm being so generous and offering mine. Just bite it. No. <laughs> He's like, nope. Nope, onion death is not in my category. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dima. I didn't know the option would pop up again. <laughs> oh, no. I'm walking away now. <laughs> yes, he is. With, with the box and his drink, Dima headed in the direction they came, glancing over his shoulder every few steps to make sure Sastra was close behind. How can you just shoot down my kindness? I'm being extra kind right now. Yes, noted. Colbert is... Dima stopped in his tracks. We didn't get Colbert anything. <laughs> oh gosh, I thought something bad was happening. Like, Colbert's not there. Colbert is dead. <laughs> but no, he's just like, we didn't get Colbert anything. After shaking his head, Dima would start walking once again, a little faster this time. Luckily, the car was straight ahead. Give Colbert your onion death burger that you're clearly not going to eat. Hey. Only <laughs> was scrambling after him. He jogged a little to catch up, his burger already back in his mouth. 
When both of them hopped in the car, the driver started the engine back up and pulled away from the market. Oh, that's a good shot. Look how pretty. Thank you for your patience, Colbert. We were a little sidetracked. Not a problem, sir. Are we headed back to HQ? Yes, after we make a quick drop off. Buckled in, Dima set the box down between them and set his drink into a cup holder. He eyed where Sasha's burger had been. He ate that so fast. <laughs> he said he was hungry. <laughs> Sasha crumpled the wrapper up in his hand, rubbing ketchup from his mouth with his wrist. He glanced at the bag and back over to Dima. Well, ketchup, you haven't even touched your burger yet. Reaching into the bag, he pulled out Dima's burger, unwrapped it, and held it out to him. I suppose suppose it couldn't hurt to try. You make it sound like I'm poisoning you. It wouldn't be the first time someone's tried. Despite his op opposition, Dima leaned over and took the burger. He eyed the way the mayo squeezed out from between the greasy patty and way too thick slice of tomato. Don't just stare at it. Dima brought the burger to his mouth and reluctantly took a small bite. Almost immediately, his face twisted into disdain. He don't like the burger. <laughs> he doesn't like Sasha's favorite burger. He quickly, he searched quickly for a napkin and disposed of the piece in his mouth. When there was none, he begrudgingly swallowed it down. Are you kidding me? You're kidding. <laughs> the driver couldn't help but smile, the car turning into a corner. So, I can have your fries? You can have all of it, Sa- God, Sasha. Is this all you eat? Have you considered that maybe your taste buds that are wrong? <laughs> I highly doubt that. Goodness, you deserve a real meal. Are you wanting to take us out to dinner, Nima? Is this the part where you tell me what a real meal is? I'm, pre I'm a pretty decent cook. When you taste what real food is, you won't be able to eat another burger again. You're going to cook for me? Yes, my kitchen is well equipped. So, what do you say? This sounds like a date. This sounds like a date, guys. Wait, is Dima a love interest? Really? Is Dima actually a love interest, too? Oh, But Mishka! Mishka! Oh, if we accept his challenge, does it hurt our, like, opportunity with Mishka? Hmm. We need to save Mishka first, and then we can work on what's going on. Hmm. I want to accept this challenge. I want to see what he cooks for us. Ugh. Okay, uh. I'm gonna save. Oh my gosh. I need to clear up this list so bad. <laughs> this is getting horrible. Okay, um. I want to know what he cooks us. Hmm. Is he actually. I think he's a love interest. Oh no. Accept his challenge. Okay, fine. Challenge accepted. But don't be upset when you're wrong. <laughs> Tima chuckled when he glanced out the window. Are you sure you can eat after scarfing down those fries? Don't underestimate me. So, is it going to be some rich people food I've never heard of? You'll find out soon. Holy shit. This is way nicer than my apartment. The sensor lights overhead brightened to reveal a luxurious apartment as Sasha and Dima entered the room. From the sleek marble on the floor to the wild, wide ceiling to floor windows that spanned the far wall, the place was far beyond anything Sasha had ever seen. Though, it looked lived in. Everything was spotless and organized like a magazine cover. It almost looked like a hotel suite. Sasha stepped away from the door and 
peeked around the corner to see the kitchen Dima had spoken of. The sheer size of it was impressive. Hey. Take your shoes off, please. What, you don't have one of those vacu robot vacuums to follow me around the house? In spite of his joke, Sasha stepped out of his shoes and used his foot to push them in back into the foyer. By the time Dima had put his wallet and C-card in their proper places, Sasha was already walking around the kitchen island. Sasha dragged his finger across the granite countertops. He eyed the pots and pans that hung from the decorative pot rack over the stove. Of course, every appliance seemed shiny and new. If Dima cooked here as often as he made it seem, the evidence was long gone. The Dima, who saw the apartment every day, watching Sasha so awestruck as he explored the open layout was refreshing. <laughs> you seem very interested in my kitchen, for someone who doesn't seem to, sp seem to spend a lot of time in one. <laughs> no! <laughs> I think he prefers his fast food. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think we've ever seen Sasha cook, right? Because at the beginning, he, like, ordered stuff. Hang on, I gotta... Okay, there we go. Better. Do -do -do. <laughs> well, maybe our rest... Our, um, kitchen is broke, okay? <laughs> hey, I could be a five-star chef for all you know. Dima smiled as he walked over to the kitchen. Stopping by the bar stools that lied the edge of the island. <laughs> Dima opened the drawer and started going through it. Somehow, I doubt that. Well, despite my dietary interest, I can cook. I couldn't always afford to eat out every night. Well, not until I started moving your product. I guess it's Pav's product, though, huh? More or less. It's not wise to come between Pav and his product. Sasha lifted his gaze to meet Dima's. I never noticed how long his lashes were. <laughs> Sasha, are you starting to uh, feel a little, get a little crush? Don't forget Mishka. We're here for the food, okay? We're here for the food, and then we're gonna go back to our room and. Think of Mishka. Yeah, sure. A slight flutter in his stomach called Sasha to look away. He ta tapped his finger on the granite counter and drummed away on it. Why the hell am I feeling like this? The fridge. Or, the fridge. Huh? I need to get to the fridge. Sasha looked to Dima, dumbfounded, before turning to see he'd been standing directly in front of the fridge. Oh, sorry, yeah. Stepping aside so Dima could squeeze through, Sasha took a few good steps away and leaned his counter eb elbows on the counter. So... He cleared his throat. When do you find the time to cook? Don't busy people eat out more? Is that a fact? I wasn't aware. The sarcasm practically dripped from him. Ingredients start to accumulate on the top of the island as Dima pulled out what he needed from the fridge. He chuckled and shut the door with his foot. It's because I work so much that I need to take better care of my body. Just walk everywhere, like me. I walk a fine amount, thank you. Do you have any food allergies I should be aware of? Yeah. Lettuce. I'm boring. I'm allergic to boring food. No allergies. Got it. Dima grabbed a cut cutting board and went to work, work digging up, dicing up vegetables. He occasionally glanced up towards Sasha, then back to the onion at hand. Sasha watched Dima slice up the onion, leaning close enough that his cheeks brushed against Dima's sweater. After growing bored of watching the dicing process. He turns towards the living room and let his gaze sweep over everything. Dang, you sure do have a lot of magazines over there. What even are they? Crossing the distance from the kitchen to the entertainment center, Sasha leaned in closer to read the piled up home and food magazines in the cubby. 
They're things I read when I get a moment. I take it you rarely have a moment. Wow, they're all like nestli nesting magazines. This is domestic as heck. He couldn't help but grin, his fingers flipping through a few pages of designing your bachelor home. What exactly keeps you so busy all the time? Besides running this company, I want to give Sabina what it what its own government won't. Infrastructure, transportation, community centers. And since those things take time and money, I'm always busy. Why do you do so much? There are other people trying to gain power and control who don't have Sobina's best interest in mind. I cannot let the city fall into the hands of people like that. I may not have grown up in the inner city, but Sobina is still my home. Dima used the knife to scrape the diced onion into a small oiled frying pan and moved on to chopping up two green peppers. Sounds like I'll have to drag you around town more, then. I might even quiz you. The knife made a very satisfying sound as it sliced through the pepper and hit the wooden board beneath. Did you grow up in the inner city? Yeah, I spent my whole life there. No place else feels like home. Dima smiled down at the cutting board. Somehow, that suits you. Yeah, you calling me a street rat? <laughs> Sasha, you are 100% a street rat. <laughs> You definitely are a street rat, okay? That's not what I meant. Sasha continued to per peruse the living room. The place was pretty tidy, though, with only a few things left about. He looked up at the lights that lined the walls. I didn't expect it, his place to be so... bright. As he shifted his gaze away from the lights, he spotted an acoustic guitar sitting in the corner of the room. It's a good thing you were able to pick up that order for your mother. And even better timing. I just hope leaving them on her porch was a good idea. You don't think anyone would take them, will they? I doubt it. Sasha tilted his head as he stared at the guitar. I enjoyed see seeing the city. Your love for it's a little contagious, admittedly. Dima poured more oil into the pan and slid the peppers in with the onions. Using a wooden spoon, he mixed the two and set the burner to medium. I like the little pastry shop. Maybe we can go again sometime? Maybe see a park? I think I'd like that. Please don't quiz me, though. Uh-huh. Sasha walked over to where his instrument was carefully seated in the stand. Now that he was closer, he could see the gentle scores and lacquer and fading varnish on the neck. Unable to resist, he reached out and plucked one of the strings. The smooth sound vibrated through the hollow instrument, and thanks to the marble flooring, echoed beautifully in the space. Dima blinked and turned his head over his shoulder toward Sasha. What are you doing? Playing the guitar, which I definitely wouldn't pay you to do. Sasha reached for the neck of the instrument and lifted it off its stand. He shrugged the guitar strap onto his shoulder. He turned toward Dima, holding the neck in one hand. Check it out. Please put that down. But it's meant to be played. Before Dima had a moment to speak, Sasha had already started to strum the guitar. Clashing notes reverberated through the space. You don't know how to play it, do you, buddy? Dima winced at the sound, but Sasha's wide smile made it hard to be mad. Setting the wood spoon down beside the sto stovetop, Dima rounded the kitchen island and walked over. Okay, before you break a string, here. He held both hands out for the guitar. Sasha pulled the strap over his head and handed it over, still grinning. Okay, hot shot, play something for me. Dima took the guitar and stepped towards the couch, arching a brow at Sasha's demand. He sat down carefully, cradling the instrument in his lap. I'm not that good, and... Oh my god, just play something! <laughs> with a soft chuckle, Dima set the tips of his finger on the width of the neck. Hit, with his other hand, he played a few sh strings, tentative at first. Sasha said on the ottoman in front of him, eyes fixated on the guitar. 
a few notes turned into a few chords, and a few chords drew into to a tender verse. Dima closed his eyes. His eye. The fullness of the guitar resonated in the space they shared. Before long, both hands were work, working the instrument in skilled practice. Sasha had never particularly sought out the sound of the acoustic instruments, but hearing the strings sing made the tension in his body melt away. He leaned forward, entranced. When he finished, Dima paused. His right hand slowly fell from the strings and rested against the side of the guitar. A hint of red stained his cheeks where his heat pulled into his face. Uh, anyway, um, so that's just something I've been working on. Sasha hadn't realized he'd been holding his breath until the music stopped. Dang. Okay, you wrote that? Dima looked away and smiled as if embarrassed, blush still tinting his cheeks. He waved his hand dismissively. It's just a little thing. Teach me how to play! Sasha popped off the ottoman and sat next to Dima on the sofa, hands already reaching for the guitar. Wait, Sasha. As Sasha pulled on the guitar, the strap around Dima's neck became taut. He leaned forward with the movement, chuckling. I'm strapped in. Hang on. Freeing his head from the contraption, he shifted the guitar into Sasha's lap. I'm not sure if I can teach you anything. I'm not an expert. Now the guitar rested against Sasha, it felt large and awkward. He tried to position his arms to mimic what he thought a guitar player would do. He plucked a note, looked at the neck, pushed his finger on a string, and strummed a chord once more. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Dima laughed gently and shifted himself behind Sasha. He reached around him, holding the guitar neck as best as he could while his body loomed over Sasha's. Here, try pla placing your fingers like this. Without much thought, Dima used his hands to got slide Sasha's fingers further up the guitar. Sasha's hand was warm to the touch. Okay, that is cute. <laughs> Look, Sasha's so focused. He wants to learn to play so bad. Oh my god, Dima, don't forget you have food on the stove. We do not need a fire. Sasha felt his hate face heat up. His fingers went limp while De Dima positioned them. His focus stolen and tricks and transfixed on the feeling of the man's chest pressed against his back. The scent of De Dima's cologne was much more apparent now that his body was so close. He is so close. Sasha? Sasha? Try plushing the strings with your other hand. Huh? Oh, yeah! With his fingers pressed down, Sasha's cord was notably more harmonious than this time. He waited for the sound to slowly fade away, smiling at his triumph. There you go. Slide your hand down a little and move your index finger to the string next to that one there. Sasha moved his right hand down until it bumped into the other man's. His eyes looked over to see where his fingers rested on the body of the guitar. He turned his head over uh, his shoulder, just enough to catch Dima's gaze, his heart racing. Memories of being caught in the same golden gaze gave rise to a fluttery sensation in his chest. His lips parted, and his eyes softened. They leaned closer. No! Are you guys gonna kiss? What about Mishka? What about Mishka? I... Oh, okay, okay, it got interrupted. Beep, beep, beep. Shit, the onions. Almost tossing both the guitar and Sasha off the couch, Dima uh, jumped up and hurried over to her the stove. Ah! Dima fanned at the smoke. Oh, the, the, the smoke detector went off. I knew it. Dima fanned at the smoke that now billowed towards the air vent. <sighs> Close call. But they seemed to be alright, just... A little burnt. 
Yeah. The onions are all right, but what about me? Beep, 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 beep. Sasha felt lightheaded as he pulled the guitar off and set it on the coffee table. With a smoke alarm threatening to blow their eardrums out, Sasha hurried towards the kitchen. He squeezed past Dima and reached up on his tippy toes, attempting to reach the shrill device. I get why they put these ugh, so high, but Sasha managed to hit the small reset button on the side of the alarm. There! Whoa! Losing his balance, Sasha tipped over the side and crashed into Dima, who was still trying to save the onions. Hey, careful! The shove knocked Dima closer to the stove, and in an effort to sturdy himself, Dima's hand pressed down close to the hot burner. No! 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 It said close! It didn't say on! No! Ah, oh, shit! He quickly withdrew his hand and winced, shaking it with a grimace. Sasha flinched and grabbed for Dima's hand. His eyes searched for reddening skin and any sign of serious injury. Without thinking, he brought Dima's fingers to his mouth and wrapped his lips around the digits. Sasha, what are you... The feeling admittedly did calm the throb of pain in his fingers, but this is no way sanitary. <laughs> Still, the image of his fingers in Sasha's mouth ignited a completely different thought. What am I doing? <laughs> the longer Dima stared at the soft mouth wrapped around his fingers, the more his heart began to race. His, exp his expression softened. His go golden gaze fix fixated, transfixed on Sasha's lips. Sasha's mouth felt so soft. Sasha? His voice was quiet. Sasha could feel how warm his own skin was. It felt different. His name felt different when Dima said it. Oh, we can hear his heart beat. Oh, he's fallen for Dima. Sasha's tongue slid down the side of Dima's fingers as he pulled his lips away. A jolt of electricity shot down Dima's back as a sensation. Sasha continued holding Dima's hand, his eyes watchful and half-lidded. The earlier feeling of fluttering returned to his stomach. Heat spreading across his face to tint his cheeks pink. He leaned in a little. You smell so good. I'm getting lost in... Before Sasha could process the rest of that thought, Dima took a cautious step closer. His hand, still in Sasha's gentle get grip, moved to cup Sasha's cheek. Dima's thumb ghosted along the shorter man's lower lip. Sasha's heartbeat swelled in his reddening ears. Wait, why am I overthinking this? I've hooked up with people plenty of times. This isn't even any different. I need to stop thinking so much. May I kiss? Sasha's free hand wrap, uh, gripped Dima's sweater. Stepping forward, he lifted up, lifted his face, and pressed his lips to Dima's. For a moment, Dima's surprise left him rigid. He raised his brows with the contact, but gradually eased. His shoulders sank as he wrapped his free arm around Sasha's lower back. Sasha tilted his head, allowing his body to be completely flush with the taller man. He sighed into the kiss, Dima's scent overwhelming him. They're going to forget the onions again, aren't they? Dima followed Sasha's motions and tightened the embrace, giving him another gentle kiss. Sasha, that was a sussy sound there, buddy. Sasha pulled his head back just enough to tease, letting his lips linger for just a moment, then returning the kiss with a quiet moan. The sound fueled a heated feeling in D uh, Dima's abdomen. He sighed against Sasha's lips and pulled back. Hushed breathing, a little labored from the kiss, filled the very small space between them. Sasha's entire body was on fire, amplified by the touch of Dima's hand on his cheek. He leaned his head into the touch, green eyes watchful through their haze, and was met with Dima's lustrous stare. 
Sasha. He closed his eyes as Dima said his name, feeling his knees grow weak. His voice was barely above a whisper. I want to... Um... 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 Oh... Oh... Oh no! Um, help Dima relax. Um, it's gonna go into a smexy scene, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> Just hang out and uh, we're gonna like back off from this. Oh my gosh. Oh no! What about Mishka? <laughs> Does this mean we're going to be going on to Dima's route instead of Mishka? Or is this just like an option? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, guys. Guys, I need help with this. I need help with this option. You guys have to help me. Uh, should we help Dima relax? Or should we just hang out with him? Like back off from um, uh, getting intimate with him and just be like, okay, okay, um, remember the onions, yeah, we're just gonna eat, maybe play some more guitar, or, yeah. <laughs> okay, let me know what you guys think we should do down below. Um, I will choose the one that has the most, um, comments on it. So comment down below whether you think we should help Dima or just hang out, and, yeah, you guys are helping me choose this because I don't know. I don't know. Did I make a did I make a mistake going to his house for food? I just wanted food. Oh no, I mean Dima is cool, but dude, Mishka! Mishka! Our poor boy. Oh no. <sighs> okay, please comment down below which one you think we should do. And I will see all you chickadees in the next one. Bye.